So how does one set up proportion problems? Hi, I'm Jimmy Chang, and I've been teaching college mathematics for nine years. And whenever you see the phrase proportion problems, you, the idea of fraction problems should immediately come to mind. Now, I know fraction equations aren't exactly our favorites, but once you know exactly what it is you're comparing, you should be able to set it up in a fairly straightforward fashion, as long as you're consistent about which side goes with which. So here's an example as to what we're going to be doing. Suppose you have the problem three gallons for 61 miles. In other words, three gallons will get you to travel 61 miles. How many gallons will it take to travel 300 miles? Now, what you have to make it to do is to make a decision as to what number you want on top, which one you want on the bottom. Now, being that gallons is mentioned first and miles is mentioned second, what you can do is make a comparison of gallons over miles. Now, and just put in the numbers where they belong. So the first comparison is three gallons, so the three would be on top, and 61 would be at the bottom. Now, to figure out how many gallons for 300 miles, all you need to do is have an equal sign and then have another fraction on the other side. Now, being that we're trying to figure out how many gallons, remember, gallons is in the numerator, so let's call that x, and then for 300 miles, because you know miles is in the denominator, you put 300 at the bottom. Now, if you wanted to, you could have set miles be the numerator and then gallons in the denominator, so you would have something that goes like this. And you'll have miles, which was 61 in the first comparison, over 3 in the first comparison for gallons, equal to, and then this time, how many gallons, since gallons is in the denominator, you have x, and then miles for 300. Now, does it matter which comparison you use? No, but you just have to be consistent with whatever decision that you make for both sides of the equation. So, I'm Jimmy, and that's an example as to how you set up proportion problems.